Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Harisan. Today we are going to learn delete request. I mean, how can we delete post or something else in the React.js using Axios? So, in the previous lecture, we have learned about get and post requests, but today we are going to learn about delete. So, as a general way to say that whenever we delete something, we pass ID of that particular thing to delete it. So here in this case also as you can see here in the fake API we have json plus holder dot type code dot com. So here is a neat and when uh, it's written here it seems like that whenever you delete something for example post so slash one mean it's mean that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the post which has id one should need to be deleted. So we will actually pass id to that uh, url in our case it's a json plus holder dot type code dot com so let's get started in the previous lecture you know we have done these things that how can we add post how can we get post so basically today we are going to delete a post so for that first of all we need to create a button which carry the id to that particular function which we will be defining for deleting purpose so Control X select me. Uh, okay, we can uh, define a button over here. So the button should have on click event, which will call a function which have a name, which will be which will have a name delete. Sorry, uh, push delete, and we will actually passing data dot id. The ID we are getting, we are getting from the get request. So we will actually pass that ID because based on this ID, we will be performing deletion of that particular uh, record. Okay, post delete. Why it's red? Because it has not yet been defined. So we will define it in a sec. So let me write here delete that it's appear over there on table. So uh, let come over here control C this and here we will go control V uh, so this will be a delete as you can see we will remove this we will getting ID which is actually data dot ID so okay we can pass another attribute here is the E to prevent this stuff all right guys uh, the main things today we are do, go, uh, doing is to write here delete instead of post. So we will be deleting but that should be based on uh, id slash we will provide the id uh, id. So how can we do this? We will do it by a dynamical way which is called uh, back tag. So you will use this. It's not a single quotation. It's a back tag. You can find it above the tape and below the escape button on your uh, keyboard so here we can now put dynamic content like uh, dollar sign curly brackets inside which id so this id which we are sending which uh, will become over here and uh, the particular the post with that particular id will get delete so there is no need of this stuff okay we have directly a response so in the response we can say uh, delete it delete it so the thing will be deleted we will get the response it's not necessary against i can say because i have preventing the app so it might be not change our actual data but we can see on the console but if we have our own server uh, like in our case we have a fake API which is a static thing can't change just for the demonstration and for the learning purpose so let's come over here refresh it will be automatically refreshed I know okay there is something wrong okay reading preview dot depart cannot okay, read property depart okay no worry Control X. 
Mm, we can I think pass the event from round here. Yes, we can. For instance, there should be e. That be an arrow function and as a second argument we can pause this particular e even let's check it is it working or not otherwise we can remove it it's not that big deal okay it's work so a post has been displayed and you can see here delete okay i have forgotten to write uh, write delete on the head section by the way it doesn't matter so if we click on delete this should need to be deleted but it's not effect here because it will just impact on console uh, because you are preventing the DOM uh, that not to change so that why our uh, data can't be able to render to re-render we can say so deleted object we have received as you can see it has been deleted let me make, uh, make refresh it that you can see everything from the scratch remember we are preventing uh, the data uh, the DOM to not change so that's why it's not changing okay uh, these are the getting from from the get request data is uh, displayed on the screen while when we click on this delete one two three go so I have clicked on this delete so as you can see I have click triple uh, three times that why it's uh, you know so delete it we have got the response the response is empty why it's mean that the response is empty the particular response is empty means that the particular data has been deleted it's an indication that whenever the data become uh, empty so it's mean it has been deleted it has been deleted so why uh, other things are not changed it's because we have prevent this thing so in your case what will you do for example you have your own server and you delete something so for example you have delete something so you can uh, navigate to that particular section you want in here in the response section you can simply do for example uh, you would control x this and make this as a curly pass it here and there here you can uh, for example write that uh, um, push dot history sorry history dot push slash the path where you want to be push so that's a straight power thing in the delete hope you have got gotten this so let me clarify you some of the other things here as you know put and page these are the two used for the edit purpose so we are not actually recording a separate video on this but let me give you some hints of it the puts and patch have a little bit difference as i know the put will just change the particular uh, while the patch change the entire data and particular section of data you want to change for example one column two columns so you can use put and the page is uh, used for you know uh, to change or to get the entire data for changing purpose so I will uh, look, at, look into these two as well but for time being it's enough and hope you have uh, gotten this that how can we use Axios it's a very good tools for getting and for posting and for editing and for uh, deleting purpose in the react.js and the main thing is that Axios as a fast way of doing such operation although we have a fetch in the react.js but instant we, we can use it because sometimes we don't need to fast any type of header because it's a type of ajax so i hope you guys have understood what i have told you in the uh, with these lecture including three lecture so hope you have liked it in case you have liked it you have learned something from this channel don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching we'll meet in the next lecture till that ijazat dijiye allah hafiz